Hello Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Keep in mind that the energies can be vice versa. Also, keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate for you. If it doesn't, feel free to check out your other placements. Am I okay? We have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. What can my Aquarians expect for the month of March 2020? We have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Overall energy, though, we do have let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. And then we have very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And then we have this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So, it's kind of looking like to me, Aquarius, where, you know... It looks like with unrequited love to new love. I could view this in so many different ways, but it's what I'm more so leaning toward is something's being revived here. Something's being revived. A relationship is being revived here. What can my parents expect for the month of March 2020? Okay, we have not the right time. It's up to you. Get more information. If you believe, yes, take action here. All right, we're going to have to break down unrequited love because that is like, ugh, why are you here? Something is being revived here, and I don't feel like it's with someone new. But I feel like it's going to take a lot of time. I have to be honest with hers. It looks like it's going to take a lot of time to get there. Because it's like the two of you are going from showing each other this unrequited love. You know, unrequited love, to me, it's kind of looking like this could have been like a friends with benefits situation. Or the two of you were simply just dating. There was no sort of love in the mix. But I feel like that's going to change between you and someone. Wait, where's my thingy? Where's my thingy? Oh, shit, I lost it. Great. Oh, well. What can my Aquarians expect for the month of March 2020? We have loneliness. I know that I am never alone. And then we have abundance here. And then we have peace, change, and then we have relationship. Awesome. So I feel like something's going to be revived here. I feel like you're going to go from, you know, not having someone to having someone. And it could be a newer energy here. It could be... It could be someone new. It could be someone new. We'll see. What can my Aquarians expect for the month of March 2020? What can my Aquarians expect for the month of March 2020? What can my Aquarians expect for the month of March 2020? What can my Aquarians expect for the month of March 2020? Okay, this thing is like blowing smoke in my face. Okay. Jesus. Okay, so the overall energy, we do have the King of Wands here. Could be connecting with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag here. Oh my goodness. I just feel like we're picking up on... We're picking up where we left off in your other reading. If you didn't see it, you should totally check it out. I'm still getting that deceptive energy here. I am. Okay. Now, let's talk about this. We have the Queen of Wands, and we also have the King of Wands. Please pick and choose your placement in the story, because I'm already picking up on a third-party situation. I hate to put it that way, but that's exactly what I'm getting here. I feel like there's a lot of juggling going on. Um, 
here, whether it's coming from your end or you're just simply involved or energetically connected to this person or you will be however you want to slice it. But with this unrequited love sort of situation here, I feel like Aquarius, you were building with someone. You were building with someone that you felt that true pair. You, you, you felt connected to this person. You felt connected. But the thing is, is that what stood in between you and this person was a third party situation. Which brought in a lot of stress for you, Aquarius, or for the other party. It brought in a lot of stress for you um, and for your person as well. Because this is what kind of kept the two of you from actually starting a new beginning with one another. Okay, so we have the Emperor and then we have the Empress. This is another true pair here, all right? I feel like this person over here that you're connecting with is stressing over this this union, this marriage, this relationship because they know where they want to be. They know where they want to be. They know this person knows where they want to be. Yeah. All right, so again, Aquarius, between these two people here, this is a true pair, as I mentioned, but things never manifested here between these two people because there was a third party situation. There was a big ass elephant in the room and it was because of this union here, this marriage or this couple here that prevented these two from actually coming together and actually loving one another, right? And so because of that, it brought a lot of stress um, and it brought a lot of pain into this relationship, okay? Because somebody was in a relationship with someone else or somebody was trying to manifest or contain or, or keep a connection there with someone else. And I don't feel like this is where they want to be. I don't feel like that. I don't know if it's the emperor doing this or the empress, but whoever the hell is doing this, they don't want to be there because it brings way too much fucking stress into their life. And overall, it's just like a nightmare for this person. It's like a nightmare for this person because they want to go be somewhere else and it kills them that they're not with the person that they want to be with because they're, they're with the person that they don't want to be with. It makes no fucking sense. Why don't you just go be with the person you want to be with? But when you see the emperor and the empress, this could this could represent, like I said, a marriage, a union. Maybe these two people share children together and that, that could be a thing. But I do want to look into this furthermore. I do want to look into this a little bit more. Okay? Because we have two people here that may have broke up or separated because someone else decided... To go be with someone else here. But they're not even happy there. So then there's that. So, psh, oh fuck. Anyways. Yeah. Overall energy that surrounds you is this Queen of Wands, though. Regardless of gender, it could be a King of Wands. But the energy that surrounds you is this person. And I feel like, Aquarius, you're a little bit pissed off with how things are transpiring between you and this person. Because, again, this is somebody that you really, really did want to be with. This is somebody that, again, you saw yourself, you know, being in a relationship with. But the two of you parted ways because this person decided to go possibly be with someone else. Or you decided to go be with someone else. Someone decided to leave someone for someone else here. And, it, and it's, it's, it's bringing in a lot of drama, a lot of chaos into your life because of that. Because of what's going on and what's transpiring here, okay? So, let's go ahead and break down. Um, I want to break down this and this and then I'll put these two back. I'll break the Three of Swords and the um, Nine of Swords down furthermore but let's dive into unrequited love and then i'm going to jump over to new love tell me more about unrequited love tell me more about unrequited love for aquarius tell 
Tell them I got Unrequited Love for Aquarius. Tell me more about Unrequited Love for Aquarius. Tell me more about Unrequited Love for Aquarius. Tell me more about Unrequited Love for Aquarius. This whole situation is fucking pissing you off. It's pissing you off or it's pissing someone else off. But someone's pissed here. And it's, again, it's just bringing in a lot of drama. A lot of fucking drama here. We have the five of, I'm sorry, the ten of pentacles here. As I mentioned, this was a true pair. This was a true pair here. It really was. But there was some sort of breakup here or separation and someone got cut off. Someone got cut off. And someone went with someone that they felt more stabled with and decided to end. Things with someone that they were probably just dating because there wasn't enough love or attraction or chemistry there. So then we have this king of pentacles here, masculine energy. It doesn't have to be a masculine energy. It could be a feminine energy that's experiencing a tower moment right now. This could be you, Aqua. It could be the person that you're connecting with. It is a masculine energy, though. So this person's experiencing a tower moment because all the while, they really fucking wanted to be with this damn Queen of Wands or this King of Wands. And I feel like because of it, this person may be drinking or partying excessively because things just didn't work out. Like they wanted it to. Like they were hoping it would. Overall energy, we have the Ace of Swords. I feel like there's a lot of miscommunication here happening. A lot of miscommunication, but a lot of lies. A lot of lies. A lot of fucking lies. And we have the Eight of Cups here in the reverse. The person who's experiencing this tower moment, Aquarius, they're going through a major tower moment. Because they go from seeing the potential or having it all to having fucking nothing at all. So now this person is drinking excessively, possibly partying excessively to kind of numb the pain, sort of speak. Because they were lied to. Because they were lied to. Because they were misled. The Ace of Swords in the reverse, it's about not seeing things clearly. And they felt like they were misled. Like they were strung along. And they can't get over it. They can't get over it. And so I feel like this person is indulging in, you know, alcohol right now. You know, I just feel like this person may be drinking excessively because of it. Because they felt like they were fucking misled all along. They felt at the time that there was something here between this King of Wands and this Queen of Wands. Like there was potential here. Like we were going to have something one day. Even though... Even though right now we're in a weird space where we're not really showing each other any sort of affection or love right now, this person still had hope. This King of Pentacles still had hope that they can have something long term here. But then they're having this rude awakening, which goes against what they initially thought was going to happen between this King of Wands and this Queen of Wands, but it just didn't work out. It didn't work out. Someone got cut off. Okay? Okay. And they're having a hard time getting over that because they felt like they were fucking misled. And then they're starting to see, they're starting to see um, themselves in this predicament. Not only is it pissing this person off, not only is it pissing this person off, but they also feel like they have no fucking control. This King of Pentacles feels like they have no fucking control over this tower anymore. Because things are, things are falling apart. And it's just like they're trying to grab and hold on to as much as they can. But it's like they feel like it's out of their control. They feel like it's out of their control. And they're completely restless over it. And they've just been fucking hit. Hard. They've been hit hard. And they're heartbroken. They're heartbroken. They're heartbroken. I feel like this person has literally been fucking stripped the fuck down. By someone's decision to leave. 
and end a relationship to go be with someone else. Okay, so... And they're stuck. They feel fucking stuck. They feel fucking stuck. It's like... This person who left this person to go be with that other person, that emperor or that empress, they don't even fucking feel content there. Like, they're not even happy. And they even question if they made the right decision on top of that. But it's almost in a sense where it's just like, I'm just going to see it through. I'm not going to question if I made the right decision. I'm just going to see this through. I'm just going to see this through. They don't want to, but they're just like convincing themselves. I'm just going to see this through. I'm just going to see this through. It is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. And... This fucking, this person over here, this poor person is going through it. It's like they're fucking heartbroken. It's like they've been stabbed in the damn heart. And someone came in and twisted the fucking knife. Like things were already over between this queen of wands and this king of wands. It was already over between them. It, there was already a fucking separation there, right? But to add insult to injury, to add salt onto the wound, someone decided to go be with someone else in the midst of all of this. And it's just like, like twisting the damn knife, like twisting the knife, twisting the knife. And they don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. This person doesn't know what to do. And I just feel like your person or whoever this is, is having a hard time getting over it and moving on and letting this go. The hangman here, they're not letting this go. They're not letting this go, but at the same time, they don't, it's like, what do I do? Like, what the hell do I do now? What do I do? What do I do? What the fuck do I do? Anyways, let's look into new love here. We have a quaddy. Tell me more about new love for Aquarius. Tell me more about new love for Aquarius. Tell me more about new love for Aquarius. Yeah, it's being revived. You you guys went from the Three of Cups. Or someone went from the Three of Cups in the reverse to the Three of Cups in the upright. It's a coming together. There's some sort of coming together happening here. It's being revived. Yep, it's being revived. Yep, four wands. <sighs> okay, so we go from... We're broken up, we're separated, you go off with someone else, and then this person's going through the emotions or feeling heartbroken because it's like, oh my God, like I saw a future here, but now you're with someone else, and I just have to accept the fact that you and I are no longer together. Boom. Then, then we go from coming together again, meeting up, reuniting, because that's what it means, catching up, reuniting. And then establishing a future together all over again. And then getting your wish fulfillment. What the fuck? These two energies are coming back together. You know? They're coming back together. Mm-hmm. Yep. Tell me more about the Three of Swords. So it's like a breakup, and then you guys come back together. Break up, and then come back together. But this coming back together seems more promising this time around. Tell me more about the Three of Swords. You have the Star card here, Aquarian Energy. Healing. A lot of healing taking place here. And we have the Empress. This person. Overall energy. We do have the King of Swords and we have the Page of Pentacles. 
This King of Swords, it doesn't have to be you, but this King of Swords is feeling stuck right now. They're feeling stuck because they want to they want to heal the situation. They want to heal the situation. They want to talk about it. They want to extend themselves. They want communication here, this King of Swords. Because this King of Swords is like, I just kind of need to, you know, speak. I need to speak to this Empress. I need to speak to this Empress. I need to speak to this Empress. I need to heal the situation. I need to. Because I just can't move on. I can't move on without this Empress. I can't move on without this Empress. I can't. I just can't move on without this Empress. And remember, the Empress was with the Emperor. Okay. And this could this could be this King of Swords stressing over this um, Empress here. But I feel like this King of Swords is, is, is literally like... I can't. I can't leave this Empress behind... I can't move on. I need to heal the situation with this Empress. So then boom. Because it's like this this Queen of Wands went from the Queen of Wands to the Empress, and then the Empress to the Queen of Wands. Could be a masculine energy, it doesn't have to be um it could be a male, it doesn't have to be, I'm sorry, um a female. Tell me more about the Nine of Swords. Tell me more about the Nine of Swords. Tell me more about the Nine of Swords. Ten of Cups here in the reverse. Seven of Swords. High Priestess. Okay, so there's a relationship that's being hidden, and I do feel like it's the it, it's these two people that are showing each other that unrequited love. There's that this relationship is being hidden. Okay, they feel that soul tie connection. This Queen of Wands feels that soul tie connection to the King of Wands. The King of Wands feels that soul tie connection to the Queen of Wands again, but. This person, and I feel like it's this empress, runs back to the emperor where they don't necessarily feel emotionally fulfilled there. And they're questioning if they made the right decision. All right, so, Shamalama Lama. All right, let's do this. Tell me more about the king of wands. Or I'm sorry, the king of pentacles. Tell me more about the king of pentacles. Yeah, this King of Pentacles is going through it. This King of Pentacles is going through it. They're bummed out. They're fucking bummed out. Because it's just like... They honestly wanted to have something long-term here. With this Queen of Wands. And this Queen of Wands decided to fucking leave. They're bummed out. They're disappointed. They're sad. And they feel lonely. And it's like they're bottling up their emotions. They're bottling up their emotions. They're not saying anything. I feel like for the most part, this person's keeping quiet. I feel like this person has literally fell, literally fell off the face of this earth. That's how gone this person is. Yeah, this person's stressing out. This King of Pentacles is stressing the hell out. There is a lot of sadness. Oh my gosh, man. There's a fucking, there's a lot of sadness surrounding this King of Pentacles. And it's like they're bottling up their emotions and I feel like they're gravitating towards alcohol here. But they're concealing it. It's like they're showing off into the world that they're perfectly fine, but on the inside, this person's fucking hurting. This could be you, it could be them. Tell me more about the Two of Cups. Got the star card here, Aquarian energy. Yeah, this screams third party to me. It screams third party, not for all of you, but it's kind of looking like that. This was this king, this king of pentacle here. This was their wish fulfillment. This is what they really wanted. They really wanted this relationship to work out. They did. They wanted this relationship to work out. They really wanted this. But I feel like there was like someone in between. Something or someone in between the two of them from honestly coming together and making this work. 
They literally view this relationship as their wish fulfillment, their wish come true. And I feel like that's why they put up with this bullshit, to be honest. That's why they're putting up with this bullshit, or that's why they did put up with this bullshit in the past. All right? Overall energy, we do have the King of Cups, and then we also have the Queen of Cups here, and then we have the Ace of Pentacles. That follows. There's a lot of love here. There's a lot of love here, and I feel like that's where the unrequited love kind of came from, because although the love was here between you and this person, you didn't want to show it. Because of what was happening here. You were well aware that you weren't the only one. Or they were they were well aware that they weren't the only ones here. But that's where that unrequited love comes from. Because it, it's an undeniable connection. It's like the two of you are not only soulmates. But it's kind of looking like destined to be with one another. But there's like always like something that stops the two of you from honestly committing to this relationship and coming together. And I feel like it's another person behind this or in between this. And this is where that unrequited love comes from. It's like, I love you, but I can't show you that I love you because of the situation at hand. Tell me more about the Four of Cups. Oh God. Same bullshit. Kind of. Um, like I said in the last reading, the emperor, and then we have the king of wands. I feel like this person is kind of down. It's like they lose in the end. They kind of lose in the end because they don't feel, they don't feel happy where they're at with this emperor. They don't feel happy with the emperor, but then again, it's just like, they feel like they lost this king of pentacles in the process. So it's like, it's a lose-lose. It's a lose-lose. Because they, they don't want to be apart from this king of pentacles. They don't. But at the same time, they don't want to be with the emperor either. They don't want to be with the emperor either. See, there goes the king of wands and the queen of wands here. You know? It's like they, they want to really, really be with this king of wands because they feel like there's that connection there. There's the passion. It, it's there. It's there. But I feel like they turn their back on this connection, on this relationship, and they started working things out with the emperor here, which makes more sense. The emperor does, you know, gravitate towards, you know, uh, a business owner, somebody who owns their own empire doesn't have to be. But yeah, they're bummed out. They lose. They lose either which way because they're not content right now. They're apart from the person they want to be with, the person that they turn their back on, and then they go to work things out with the emperor, but they don't even want to be with the emperor. So they're just, it's a lose-lose. It's a lose-lose. Tell me more about the nine of pentacles. Tell me more about the nine of pentacles. Okay. I do see communication coming in, all right? I do see communication here because somebody, someone here is not content with how things are transpiring here between these two masculine energies, therefore shutting the, them, themselves down and not loving either one of them, you know? I feel like this person is just like, get away from me, get away from me, get away from me. I don't want to deal with you. I don't want to deal with you. I just, I just want to be alone. And I don't feel like this person is extending themselves to anyone right now i don't however right now this person is choosing this nine of pentacles energy is choosing to remain single because of how things are transpiring they're not content with e e either party here because they're not with the person they want to be with and they don't want to be with this person either so and then they feel like with this person there wasn't any sort of love being shown there so it's like well, they question this King of Wands, like, I don't even think that you really love me. And then again, like, you're driving me crazy. You're giving me a headache. I don't want to be with you either. So there's an offer coming to this person who says, you know what, fuck it. I'm just going to be on my own. I'm just going to be single. I'm just going to live my life. An offer's coming in, all right? And the emotions are running extremely high. It could be a new love offer. It could be. I doubt it, though. It's coming from one of these persons. It's coming from one of these masculine energies here someone who got left behind all right so they're reaching out they're communicating they're expressing how they feel they go from not saying anything 
not expressing how they feel to expressing and laying everything out on the table because their emotions are all over the place. Um, understandably so, because this person feels abandoned. This person feels abandoned. So someone's speaking up to this Nine of Pentacles energy, feminine energy. Tell me more about the Seven of Cups. Eight of Cups, yeah. Someone's coming up with a plan. Someone's coming up with a plan to approach this situation because their emotions are all over the place. You're going to be hearing some sort of news that somebody wants to... This feminine energy is going to be hearing some news, right? And it's, 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 their emotions are running high. Their emotions are running high. They want to work on this. And they're probably saying that, like, I want to work on this. I want to work on this. I don't want you to leave me behind. And they're coming in to make peace and harmony and actually show love this time around. Tell me more about the two of pentacles. Tell me more about the two of pentacles. Okay. So. We have the Two of Pentacles here, and then we have the Queen of Pentacles, and then we have the Nine of Cups here. Wish fulfillment here. This person here, this King of Pentacles that feels abandoned, where did you come from? I don't even know why you're here. This King of Pentacles that feels abandoned and is going through it emotionally is trying to figure out a way to get their true pair back their wish fulfillment back, this connection back that they've always wanted back. So they're going to try to figure out a way. How do I get this person back? How do I get this person back? This is my wish fulfillment. How do I get this person back? And this King of Swords here, this King of Swords is a little bit nervous. They're a little bit nervous. They're a little bit nervous. Okay? Because they really want to be with this person. They do. They really do. This is their wish fulfillment. This is the person that makes them happy. And they just want to go for it and manifest the fuck out of it and start something here. But they're they are nervous and they're a little bit worried because again, there is some sort of foundation going on here with this emperor. So they are a little bit worried. All right, tell me more about the king. I mean, tell me more about the five of wands. Tell me more about the five of wands. Yeah. This love offer that's coming in. Oh, this is just straight up. Oh, yeah. There goes the ten of pentacles. It was with the unrequited love. Where there was no love being shown, there's love being shown. And shit's going to hit the fan. Shit's going to hit the fan. Shit's going to hit the fan. It's going to create a lot of drama, a lot of chaos. Okay, it is. This this love offer that's coming in, it's going to create a lot of drama here. Because again, there's a lot of people in this equation. Someone's going to get pissed. It's going to start some shit, you know? Mm. Tell me more about the five of wands. Someone's standing up. Someone's fighting. Someone's fighting. Someone's fighting for this connection. Where there was unrequited love between the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands, there's going to be love being shown there. There was no love ever shown in this relationship. It was strictly like with the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands, there was passion there. There was passion there. Like there was sex there, but that was about it. You know, there was nothing else there besides that. This person is fighting for what they want, for who they want. Stay there. And they're going after it and they're fighting for it. They're fighting for this because they want this stability. They want this abundance. They've also got abundance. And then you got peace. So again, we did see that. Um, it's not at the bottom, but somebody's coming and bringing peace and harmony and balance to the situation because there has to be change here in order for this relationship to work out. And the thing is, is that someone here is going to feel guilty because they may just leave someone behind and take this person up on their love offer. Because this person's fighting. Fighting to keep this person in their life. It could be you, Aquarius, because this is your placement. The Five of Wands, it doesn't have to be. 
But again, fighting what's going to make, yeah, fighting for who's going to make them happy and what's going to make them happy. And it just so happened to be that the person that honestly made them happy, they weren't showing that love towards because of, well, the circumstances. You know, there was more than one person in the mix. Tell me more about the Queen of Wands. Tell me more about the Queen of Wands. Tell me more about the Queen of Wands. Okay. There goes the King of Wands again. We've got the Nine of Wands. And then we have the Ten of Cups. Those same cards wanting to come out. All right. So, again, this feminine energy was showing up as a Nine of Pentacles. Now this person is single. Now this person has unchained themselves from this relationship. They're feeling bummed out. They're feeling bummed out because they feel like, you know, fuck, I lost my King of Wands. I lost my Emperor. I don't want to be with neither one because the, this relationship with, you know, my King of Wands or my Queen of Wands didn't work out because I was, you know, too busy focusing on a relationship that I wasn't emotionally, you know, fulfilled in. And they feel bummed out. They feel bummed out. They feel bummed out. Because it's like, fuck. Like, I just... I just want to be alone. I don't want to be with nobody. I just want to be alone. It's that sense of, I just want to be alone. Just everybody leave me alone. Nobody talk to me. Nobody talk to me. And so, we have the Three of Cups. So, some sort of reunion. Something's going to come back to life. Something's going to, you know, spark again between this King of Wands and this Queen of Wands again. Right? But this King of Wands is a little bit hesitant and a little bit scared and a little bit worried because this Queen of Wands holds the holds literally the key to the King of Wands happiness. But at the same time, yes, they're very passionate about this person, but they also understand that this person may have unfinished business elsewhere, which again is still not stopping them from chasing who they want and what they want. Worried as hell? Yes. You know, because there's there's someone else in the mix, possibly, or there was. But they don't give a fuck. They're going balls to the wall with it, manifesting the hell of it because there's potential there. There's abundance there. There's love there. So they go from, this Queen of Wands goes from being extremely bummed out to extremely happy because they're reuniting with the person that they're highly attracted to, the person that they couldn't show that love towards, and the King of Wands couldn't show that love towards the Queen of Wands because there was a third party situation going on here. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles, taking into consideration. Jesus. Alrighty. Tell me more about the Ace of Wands. Tell me more about the Ace of Wands. Yeah. Somebody here wants to start a passionate new beginning, whether it's you or them. Okay. This is someone's hope is to start a passionate new beginning. But at the same time, someone has to be eliminated out of this love triangle here. And someone needs to walk away from a third party situation, turn their back on it entirely and take this love offer and this person that's fighting for them and this love seriously in this proposal seriously so then we have the ten of swords for the outcome tell me more about the ten of swords tell me more about the ten of swords for the outcome for aquarius tell me more about the ten of swords tell me more about the ten of swords Tell me more about the Ten of Swords. Okay. So this Empress, okay, this Empress is leaving this Four of Wands stabled marriage union relationship behind in the dust, right? Ending that. Ending that scared to do it but still ending it because they know who they honestly want to be with and they want to be with who emotionally fulfills them in the end so this empress is ending this relationship 
walking away from this union, this marriage, whatever, ending it. They're scared to do it, but they're doing it, okay? Now they're single. Now there's some sort of offer being made, love offer that's pushing them to officially end this deception, walk away from it, and work towards showing love to the person that they didn't necessarily show that love towards. Neither party showed love towards neither one, okay? It was always the love was there, but I can't show you that I love you because of my situation or I can't reciprocate that because of your situation, right? So then they're showing the love there because they want to work on establishing something with this person that's making the love offer. So they're accepting the love, the love offer in the end. The person that's fighting for them, the person that's stepping up or whatever is taking that love offer into consideration in the end. So ending the deception, ending the third party situation, walking away from it, because the eight always goes to the 10. So then we've got to work on that. We've got to work on getting towards the 10 of cups or the 10 of pentacles, right? But this person in the end does accept that love offer. Okay, so hopefully this reading resonates with you. Hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.